I'm joined by Montreal Mayor Valérie Plante to look back on 2022. Thank you so much for being with us, Mayor Plante. My pleasure. Another eventful year in the city. How would you describe it and the issues you prioritize most? Public safety was very important for us to show Montrealers that we take that matter really seriously. But yes, working with the police officers, but also working on the prevention side of things and addressing the systemic reasons why there's more gun uh, fire in, in Montreal. So that was a big issue for us. And as well, working on the environment. And I have to say, concluding uh, this year with the... Uh, success of the COP15 is, is fantastic because biodiversity is so important to all Montrealers. On the topic of COP15, what was the impact on the city, but even the world globally? Well, for Montreal, it just it, it definitely sends a, a, a strong message that we need to do more, whatever it's by creating more parks, uh, protecting every green spaces we have on the island, but also because it's been negotiated between countries, it will help us to get more financial resources to do more. You spoke of public security, gun violence in the city. On that topic, it was another difficult year. What would you yeah. say your message is to Montrealers to reassure them that 2023 yeah. can be better? We're putting in place all the pieces to make sure that we can assure security for all Montrealers. For example, hiring the new uh, chief of police, Monsieur Daguerre, was very important for us. It was a great process where we did consult Montrealers about what they envisioned, what they wanted to see in a police uh, chief police officer. So that's great. But also putting more resources, like I was saying, to have uh, to hire to make sure that the uh, police officers feel supported, but working on the prevention. On to COVID. Public health says we're learning to live with the virus. How would you say Montreal is doing exactly that? And how would you say the downtown core can bounce back to become what it once was? This is a very good question because it's true. We feel like COVID is behind us, but I think it's just now we, we live with it. And it did have huge effect on the, uh, the downtown core, but also I would say around the uh, homeless communities as well. It's been growing more importantly. So precarity has been part of our new day-to-day -day reality in Montreal. Um, as for the downtown core, we decided to inject massively to, for example, to make the downtown, uh, downtown Montreal the greener in North America, because we know that if we want to attract businesses and, and tourists and uh, students as well, there has to be a plus value to come to downtown Montreal. And so this is what we're working on and also supporting business owners and moms and pop shops with keeping the taxes not too high this year. After the death of eight-year-old Maria Legenkovska from Ukraine, fatally struck on a Montreal street, yes. what will pedestrian safety look like going forward? Yeah, that was devastating for, for everybody. And I think it gave kind of an electroshock to, to the entire province because a lot of pedestrians here in Montreal, but elsewhere, don't feel as safe. And to me, this is a huge problem. So when we took office in 2017, we integrated Vision Zero, which means putting a lot of resources into securing around schools. For example, now we have more than 100 schools being uh, uh, better secured with uh, speed bombs, uh, radar, uh, stop signs, different, different things to make sure that it's safer. But of course, there's so many intersections in Montreal, so we need to work even harder because we don't want anyone, especially our elders and our kids, not to feel safe as they go to school or go to, you know, to the grocery store. So we need to do more and we will do more. And I definitely invite car drivers to also have this, this uh, realization that they are part of the solution. They have to, it's okay if you're late at a meeting, it doesn't matter because it's, you might be saving a life. Mayor Pont, what do you want 2023 to be focused on? Well, definitely, I will. I think the themes we just talked about to me will be my priority. Again, public security and the safety as a whole, including for for the most vulnerable of our of our streets and sidewalks. And I will continue to work on climate change because people Montreal expect me to continue to be bold and have like put my political will behind big, uh, you know, ways to protect the environment on the island of Montreal. Thank you so much for taking the time, Mayor Plant. Thank you.